We're now joined by our SABC News reporter, Kokecho Mutau from Limpopo, and he joins us via our telephone line. Kokecho, thank you so much for your time this evening. Let's start off here. Um, when it comes to how this was actually discovered, this was brought forward by an invigilator. When exactly uh, did this uh, invigilator bring this to light? Well, thank you so much, Mbali, and good evening to you, and good evening to the viewers out there. Yes, I can tell you that this matter took place in November last year when metric, um, metric uh, um, learners were sitting for examination uh, in, the, in 2023. And um, according to the information that we got from the LGB Federation here in Limpopo is that this school has a reputation of, you know, writing metric exam for, another, for other learners. So the matter was actually reported to the uh, Department of Education, basic education in Limpopo. And um, uh, on the day when these learners were writing the mathematics paper too, that's when they sent a, 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 I would say, a, an invigilator from the department or inspectors, examination inspectors from the department to that particular school. And that's when one of those um, inspectors, you know, spotted this man. According to another information that we received is that, um, you know, when they are writing metric exam, they sit according to the gender and the uh, examination number. So the um, the examiner was actually, uh, actually uh, I mean, the 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 the, 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 the invigilator was actually uh, surprised that this young boy was sitting on the row which actually belongs to to to, to the female learners, and that's when she she actually. You know, went to ask as to why he sit, uh, the guy is sitting on that row, and then uh, when he observed, when they, when, when the the inspector observed the documents, that's when they realized that, in fact, these uh, documents are not belonging to the guy. That's when he was caught, and the police were caught, and he was subsequently arrested for this mm. matter. And Gugaju, you're saying that this is not the first time uh, that this takes place and it's well known, um, you know, for such activities to take place, especially at that examination centre. Why is it still operating? Yes, yeah, the school is still operating. We, we, we also went there, uh, you know, after the, the, the court case and we saw that there was a huge uh, placard outside the uh, premises, uh, you know, showing that there's still, you know, and accepting learners who want to, you know, improve their metric results for 2020, I mean, in 2024. And I can tell you that this school um, is operating at a, a school called no, um, Mukulani Senior Secondary School. Mukulani Senior Secondary School was closed a few years ago because they were, you know, making that school and another uh, another school in the in the in the area. So that's when it was closed. But no, no, any. Um, a Christian Academy came came to occupy that. I mean, those premises, uh, you know, and using it as an examination center for learners who want to upgrade their their, their metric results. So it is still operating as we speak today. And um, we didn't hear anything from the department on whether they are investigating the school and their um, dodgy dealings, or or if indeed there is, um, you know, any form of investigation around this matter by the department. Mm. And, uh, you know, the perpetrator, 22-year-old uh, Moteo, um, the one who has been charged uh, with fraud, have you managed to speak to, his, uh, to him, you know, in what condition is he in? Is he aware of uh, the veracity of the charges he faces? You know, we, we, we didn't really speak to him directly. We spoke to the mother, to, to the mother of uh, this uh, young boy. And um, according to the mother, she, she is saying that uh, uh, Mateo was not really aware of what was going on and um, um, these people, one of the um, teachers in that particular school, you know, phoned Mpila who is currently studying engineering in Polokwane to come and write examination for one of those learners. According to the information we got on the ground, you know, the learner whose exam was being written by Mateo paid around 6,000 rand. Um, and one of those uh, teachers allegedly fell, you know, home to Medwan to come and write uh, that particular exam, also promising to pay him. So that's the information we got from the mother, uh, because we couldn't speak to him as um, the matter is still, you know, under investigation and he's yet to be, you know, uh, ventilated more in court. Mm.
What is the Department of Education saying about this? I mean, uh, this is a huge blow uh, to uh, the matric exams, uh, especially during a time um, when they are saying that, uh, of course, uh, such incidents do not take place. Uh, but, I mean, uh, this is a huge uh, uh, fraud case uh, now also uh, involving the Department of Education. Have they said anything to you? Uh, when this matter first happened in November last year, we spoke to the Department of Spokesperson, Elijah Mshanga, who mentioned that, you know, learners are discouraged from cheating because they will be caught and um, the consequences of being caught uh, during the examination, they are very harsh. And um, uh, you could face a jail term just like uh, Mpela here. Uh, he's facing very serious charges of fraud and um, more charges could be added on this matter. And uh, he's not the only person who could face, you know, charges because according to the information we also got from the uh, prosecutors that uh, uh, the, 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 the docket was also sent back to the um, investigating officer to effect arrest on some of the people involved in this matter, uh, including the learner whose uh, metric result, I mean, whose examination was being written by um, uh, Motel. Because according to the information, um, according to the prosecutors that she was aware, the learner was, was well aware of what was happening because she handed over her identity documents, her um, examination timetable to Taylor so that he can write his, this, this exam on her behalf. And um, like I said, um, the, 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 the SGP Federation um, of um, the SGP Federation in Limpopo is saying that Nonwani um, Christian Academy has a reputation of writing exams for other candidates. And um, so they are calling on the uh, prosecutor and uh, the investigating officer to make thorough investigation on this matter so that uh, Mpila is not, the, because they believe that Mpila is not the only person, um, 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 it's not the only person, you know, involved in this matter. Mateo, uh, uh, um,